So you come to Walmart with your daughter. Say hi, Nihan. Hi, Daddy. And then you're gonna grab some of this stuff right here. Yeah. Boom. Take this so I can just sit four, five, zero. I like this recipe is because you can kiss it. K I S S. Keep it simple, stupid. Microwave safe bowl, cream cheese, mozzarella cheese. Let's go. You need uh, two tablespoons of cream cheese. A little more doesn't hurt. Last of your mozzarella. Don't waste. Use it all. Now you're just going to top this sucker up right up to about two cups. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I want you to guess what we're gonna do with the cheese. Oh! Start spreading it out nice and even, kind of mix it up. Then we're gonna throw this sucker in the microwave. Why isn't it go? Oh. How long do we leave it in there? I don't know. I'm just gonna make it. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. Okay, this is how it just came out. We're gonna mix it up, mix it up. You see it's starting to coalesce. It's gonna need more heat, but I'm just gonna mix it up a little more, put it back in the microwave. That's what it looks like kinda of after mixing. Let's put in some more heat. Uh, uh, damn it! Yes. Yes. Lord have mercy, look how it looks. I'm gonna mix it up some more. So after mixing it uh, looks a lot like this. I'm gonna put it in just for a little bit more heat so it kinda of gets a little softer. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Look at that. Okay, now comes the crazy part. Almond flour, and you get about three quarter cups of it, and you sprinkle a little bit of it on it. Just not all of it. Oh, sh you get some Kirkland roasted almonds, and you eat them. To hold all the stuff together, you need an egg. And then you put that shit right in there. Now you use your God-given spatulas, and you start mushing all this shit together. Yeah. And if it gets kind of hard, you're gonna add a little bit more heat. So once you get all this incorporated, you keep continue adding the uh, almond flour, little by little. Me have the eggs in the bowl. Added a little more of that flour. It's getting, starting to look like a dough ball. Got a little bit more to go. I think we gotta add the rest of it. Just add the, just add the rest of it. Get your feelers in there. Just keep heating it up. Remember, if it gets too hard, heat it up again. Unnecessary, but Tammy likes it when I add this stuff. So that's what it looks like when you add Hammy stuff. And you, again, just get that in there. Um, parchment paper put it on that sucker right there. Oh, yeah, make sure your feelers are cleaned off You take this guy He's just Put him over here oh, So sticky I need both Okay, now that he's on you're gonna get another piece of parchment and put it on top Some people say you wet your hands and you can spread it out without it sticking. I'm not about that life uh, I'm running low on parchment paper, so I'm totally about that life here we go, wet hands. Um, yeah, I guess. Actually, it spread out pretty good. Uh, now you take this sucker right here and just poke some holes. Right there. Pretend it was the face of your um, elementary school bully. Just tear up that face. Okay, then you pop the sucker in the oven. Oh, God, damn. Come over here. Hey Google, set timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes, and here we go. Peppa Pig. Yes. Boop. Boop. All right, that's what it looks like after about 10 minutes. Look how pretty that is. We ain't done yet. The secret weapon. Oh, shit. Mm hmm. Come back to the Kirkland bag. Get more almonds. I'm putting more mozzarella on it. I'm so. It's a cheese inception. Cheese inception. I do use the spice a lot. Cheddar. 
And that sucker backs. Oh shit, it's still hot. Now work smarter, not harder. Then you clean up the mess you made before your wife yells at you. You just keep watching her. Oh yeah, she's ready. Oh, damn. Ah, I need some oven mitts. Oh please God, what happened to them? Oh. Nihal wants to smell it. Don't touch it, it's hot, okay? Good. Use this. All right, that's it. Eat up.